Green's family, Bomani Temba here with Lava and Revolutionary Cam. And yes, family, we're in Accra, Ghana, and it's in May 2021. And we're here at George Padmore Research Library on African Affairs. And now this is one of the historical sites that we have as far as uh, the research and documentation. You have two buildings here, which are the library buildings. It's full of documentation. And this is not really a, you know, it's a historical site, but it's not really like a tour site like Nkrumah Memorial or Du Bois Center. Yes, yes, yes. So family, what we're looking at is the Ghana collection as far as research on this side. And then what you're looking at on this side is this Africa in general as far as our research and documentation. One of the things I used to like about George Padmore Library is when you get to this part, you have the fishes and everything. You, you've been here before, y'all? Yeah. No, you never been here before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is, you familiar with George Padmore? Do you know what used to be right here? Yeah, this was yeah. a... Water running. Yeah, and you had fishes in there. Yeah, fishes in there. Yeah, it was actually a real nice presentation. So... And then... And then, family, what we go do is we take pictures and do presentation in front of George Padmore Library. And you know, people like myself, we find ourselves all kind of thing, things in places, museums, historical, memorial parks, and so on. Now uh, we just got to keep documenting the history, family. And for those who are not familiar with George Padmore, now when I talk about the uh, independence movement, you just had so much great minds there that put their energy and their research uh, together. So, you know, when we talk about Kwame Nkrumah, George Padmore, and W.E.B. Du Bois. You know. So that's the beautiful thing about this uh, wonderful city tour. It's just a lot of history you know, based on those three people I mentioned. So the next place we're gonna go to is the the Boy Center and they have the African Diaspora Forum, which is one of our re reconnection point. Then also you have the Marcus Garvey Guest House, uh, which is in the same compound. And sometimes the hardest thing is to find someone that does presentation for George Padmore Library. Uh, which it is what it is. We definitely want to make sure that. Hmm, hmm. We just show you all the locations, regardless of their quote unquote tour sites or not. Hmm. So, for those from the Caribbean or from this, uh, Trinidad, uh, we're just showing different levels of aspects of Africans making contributions. You know, we talk about Garvey, we talk about Du Bois. Talk about Nkuma, Malcolm X, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. And we're just trying to show a spectrum of connection of this Africans from different parts of the world. Who minds is in the same direction as far as this Pan Africanism, Black Power, and nation building. Regardless of regardless of how perfect or imperfect their philosophies and things are. Please just be careful. Because I'm sure if we can go back in time from now and the people know what they know about Kwame Nkuma. You know, it may have been a different story as far as you know, is ending legacy of just being an African heads of state and working with others. Yes, good job, Carmen. You found someone. So this is no longer a tour site, right? Um, it, it, it used to be, right? Yeah, it but is. It, Please, can you all come this way? And <coughs> so it seems like sometimes George Padmore uh, Library is one of those forgotten places. Yeah. Yeah. 
but I'm happy that someone is available okay, to talk. Down, Hopefully you can down. talk without the mask so we can muffle. Uh, and, I've, and promise him that none of us will give him coronavirus because uh, we all, we have taken about, all of us have taken two to three coronavirus tests. True story. <laughs> okay. Some people uh, taking more. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at uh, George Padmore uh, Library. And then uh, my brother over here, he's the senior man over here. He's the most senior man over here. Don't think about his body. But he's a big man over here. Yeah. So I told him, and then he said, you know, our presence here, and he said, no, he would like to come and then give us just a short history or tell us something better about your partner. Although we know him already, but so far as we are here, he needs to uh, introduce himself and then tell us what we have here. Thank you. You're yes, sir. You're all welcome here. Thank you. My name is we can't hear you properly. You have a, a face diaper right. on. My name is Simon Tain. Thank you, no. sir. Are you okay if he, he puts you? Uh, it's we are, it's okay. not on. Uh, we are not going to sell anything. If we give you coronavirus, we'll, 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 pay, we'll pay your bill. We'll pay your medical <laughs> bill. I beg you. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, you have insurance, right? <laughs> All right, cool. If not, we'll pay your medical bill. <laughs> so my name is Simon Tain, the head of Padmore Library here. Um, the little I can tell you about Judge Padmore yeah, tell me, tell me. is that he was a can very you great up, man. Honey, I'm sorry. All right, Judge Padmore was a very great man. That's yeah. all I can tell you. Because looking at the relationship between him and Nkuma, mm -hmm. I strongly believe that if Padmore did not advise Nkuma to come to the Gold Coast and accept the position of the General Secretary of the UGCC, Ghana wouldn't have obtained its uh, independence in 1957. Mm -hmm. So as a result of that, immediately after his death, Nkuma decided to establish this library in memory of him. So that could tell you the relationship between Padmore and that of Dr. Kwame Nkuma. So they fought. I realized that when um, Padmore was in school at level 200, he decided to even drop out of school as a way of disguising himself, just to make sure that Africans are free today. So if somebody could do this for I and you, and I think that was the major reason why Dr. Nkuma even decided to establish this particular library in memory of him. So it was clear that Nkuma was aware that even Padmore was better than him. Mm. He was aware. Mm -hmm. And that was the reason why the, um, immediately after independence, he decided to make Padmore his advisor on African affairs. Oh, wow. Yes. So we in Ghana, we like Padmore, and we believe that he was one of the greatest people who made our independence possible. So immediately after his death, this library was established to become a center for Pan-Africanism and any research into Africa and Pan-Africanism. Mm -hmm. So we are still doing that particular thing. That was our major aim and we are still abiding by that particular um, principle. So here, the tomb was brought here in 1992 by Jerry John Rollins. First, it was at the Christian Bell Castle. But they realized that if a library has been established in the name of Padmore, then the tomb should be here. Yeah. Mm. So they brought it here in 1992, mm. and we still have it here. And I don't think it's going to be moved here again. So this is little thing I have to tell you about George Padmore. He was a very great man. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Now, formerly, <coughs> some years from Trinidad. Yeah, from Trinidad and today. Yeah, uh, formerly every year there are. Af people of African descent comes here to light a perpetual flame and there's a big ceremony here. Uh, I think about two or three years now it has not been done because of the uh, pandemic. That's right. Yeah. That now I think year. this year it year will now. take place. We have a festival called Panafest, Pan-African Festival mm. that takes place in July and this year is coming on. So definitely there's going to be a big program here in George Padmore Library. Even last year, though the, the pandemic was there, they did a very simple ceremony. Yeah. They exactly. were here, the Minister of Tourism was here, Minister of um, Education was also, uh, Deputy Minister was also here. Mm. So though it wasn't a very big program, but they tried to organize it. And we climaxed everything at the Nkuma uh, Museum. Yeah. So this year, in July too, we will surely have Emancipation Day celebration. That's perfect. Does someone have any question? Yes, I do. Yes, madam. It's not actually a question. Um, a lot of times when we go as groups and we talk about Pan-Africanism, a lot of people that's with us really don't know what Pan-Africanism <laughs> is. Up. And so it would behoove us, you know, to at least explain what Pan-African, Pan-Africanism is. 
Um, that would thing, help. I simply believe that it is just a matter of believing that you are an African, doing things that are African, wearing African, eating African, do everything about Africa. Mm -hmm. So if you are, a, you call yourself a Pan-Africanist, mm -hmm. and you I still, um, you still wear the, the foreign. You like you 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 eat their food. You don't like mm -hmm. your own kukote, You don't like your banku, your own fufu. Mm -hmm. and you are eating their fried rice. Mm -hmm. Then you are still enslaving yourself. So that is basically what Pan Africanism is. Pan Africanism wow. is. It's about doing everything African. I like that simple definition. You simplified it. And the more you go in that direction, the more of a Pan African you are. Yes. And the up, the more you go in the opposite direction, the, the more of a fake, fake Pan African you are. That's it. But uh, it's um, yes, it's um, a lot of people just use the terminology just to use it. But uh, yes, uh, it has to have some level of dedication to it. Yes. In reference to Africa, so I'm with you on that. Simple, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So. Thank you. Uh, any, any other questions, uh, there is family? Any more questions? Yes, mother. So the library is open to the public? Yes. We can take the books away, but you can we just don't go research. research because it is purposely for research. Mm. Okay. So when you come, we give you the material after which you, 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 you give it back to us. We don't borrow them. They don't have computers? Yes, we microfilm have computers. Or? Yeah, we used to have microfilms. But now, <laughs> even the. Computer. Yes. We're in the digital age of real technology. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, so what we want to do is that, please, can we go just stand behind it and then we take a picture? Thank you. We take a picture with the director. Uh, then we always remember. Yes, family, so we're going to take that magical group picture right here by George Padmore. Great Let's turn around it and then we're going to take a picture. No, you can't take a picture. I'll seize your camera. Let's please, do please, right please. <laughs> I need it, please. All right, can, uh, can we balance? Can we balance it out? Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, getting no. in. Shelly, you getting in? Or maybe you want to take a photo for us? Shelly, I'm not coming. No. Can, you take, can you take a photo? No. Shelly, no. Shelly, no. No, 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 no. Um, yeah. Stand around to the left, right, and the front. No, I mean, if you can, if you can step down. If you can step down. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Just so, uh -huh. Shall we maybe? Uh, balance it out a little bit. Some people. Uh -huh. 